Kaya medyo nakatakot na magmahal dahil yun na nga. Ito, ito yung kanong kanina. <laughs> Ay mga puso, so today, uh, babunot ako ng 7 questions na sasagutan ko. So, gagawin ko lahat ng best ko para masagutan siya. Sana hindi ka lang kahirap. Okay? So, question number one is... Anong naramdaman mo at masasabi mo sa sobrang daya mo ng supporters? Overwhelmed? Kasi... Like, ibang artista, hindi ko naman talaga siya in-expect my whole life. So, right now na... Nabigyan ako ng, nabigyan ako ng opportunity na ganito. Like, yung parang yung magnitude ng supporta sa akin right now is um, unbelievable and uh, never been expect so how I'm just trying to keep it real and um, try to ibalik yung mga support ng mga fans sa akin ayun so super thankful and grateful second question is paano magmahal ang isang David Licaoco sabi ni Edna Gaviria ano sobra sobra magmahal pag magmahal kasi ako all out eh so Lahat binibigay ko. Uh, so, ayun. Kaya medyo nakatakot yung magmahal dahil yun na nga. Uh, all out talaga ako when it comes to love. Third question. Galing ito kay Dana Cassandra. What is something that you always bring with you that you can't leave your house without it? Siyempre, cellphone. <laughs> I mean, lahat naman siguro tayo cellphone hindi kayang iwan nowadays. Especially like yung life natin. Basically, nandun na lahat. So, cellphone, then siguro wallet, kasi syempre kailangan natin bumili ng pagkain pag nasa labas tayo. Fourth question. Coming from Girly Avila. Ano po yung mga pangarap mo na hindi pa natutupad? Siguro, ano, maging professional basketball player. Kasi yun talaga yung gusto kong gawin mula nung mga 15, 12 years old ako, 11 years old. Ayun, kwento ko lang na nung all my life, like from grade school to high school to college, uh, basketball player ako. Kasi lang siya pa may mga nangyari na mga hindi naasahan. Kaya, ito, nag-shift ako sa pag But then, andun pa rin siya sa pipeline. I feel like, um, pag, pag magkaroon ako ng time and um, i-work on ko lang, maging masipag ulit ako sa basketball, I think, uh, doable naman. Sana. <laughs> Fifth question is coming from Kasilin Clarissa. May plan ka rin ba i-pursue yung dream mo na makapasok sa PBA? Ito, ito yung kanong kanina. <laughs> if given the opportunity, yes, of course. Uh, you know, like I said, it's my dream. Uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was 11 years old. And just, you know, like being in a court, like with fans, and uh, talagang sinosuportahan ka, tapos mga kalaro mo, mga magagaling, I think, um, Yung talagang dream ko. Minsan, minsan actually, kunwari, I mean, lahat naman tayo may mga imaginations. And uh, yun, yung mga, yun yung pinakalaki ko na imagine na parang kunwari si David, parang, uy, pinaparawad ng mga tao, tapos nakashoot, nakapasa ng maganda, naka, lahat. So, if given the opportunity, yes. But then, syempre, it's a bit, you know, you know like, it's a bit far-fetched. Kasi, sa ginagawa ko ngayon, like, in business and showbiz, parang, I'm not sure if, Kaya ko pa siyang gawin, and um, I'm getting older. <laughs> so, but maybe, maybe soon. Siguro sa MPBL, baka kaya. Six. Last two. Naisip po bang huminto ng pagiging artista and mag-focus lang sa business mo? Yes. Um, actually, prior to prior to this Maria Clara and Ibarra, like, I was really focused on my business. And um, it felt like the love for, for acting was, was overtaken by my love for business. I'll be honest with that. Pero, siyempre, dumating yung Maria Clara ni Ibarra uh, na napakaganda ng naging role ko, napakaganda ng reception ng mga tao. And uh, dumami rin yung mga sumusuporta sa akin na hindi ko naman pwedeng iwan lang basta-basta. ba? Kasi, kumbaga, marami nang mamahal sa'yo, invested na rin sila sa'yo. Yun, I mean, tatagalan ko pa para sa mga supporters, mga sumusuporta sa akin. Mga GMA fans, mga si David Troop, sa lahat ng lahat ng small support sa akin. So, I'll stay. <laughs> so last, how do you handle stress and pressure? Hmm, halos lahat naman ng tao nasa stress when they overthink. Uh, kapag iniisip nila na kaya ko ba to, pagod na ako, baka kung ano yung iniisip nila sa akin. So what I do is, um, I just try my best to stay in the moment by 
meditating, by not using my phone that often. I have a morning routine that is very um, imp like strictly implemented by me. Is uh, first thing I do, I don't touch my phone. So pagising ko, I work out right away, and then I go straight to meditate. I mean, ligo muna ako ng cold cold bath. Kasi pag cold bath kay nervous system natin mas mas refresh. So hence the the more focused self. And then nag meditate ako. Kasi pag meditate ka, kung baga tira train yung mind mo na to focus on one thing. Magalas in overthinking mo dun. And then pag nagawa ko na lahat ng morning routine ko, that's the time I start working. I start using my phone. Pero I still manage my social media um, usage. Kasi manami negativity dun. Just um, awareness nang talaga. Kailangan mo naging aware kung bakat ng yari mga bagay. And then just have to keep yourself in the moment all the time. I think that's it.